Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to defend against the umbrella power play. Now there are a few different schools of thought on this. The standard is to line up in this position where you have a forward up high, a forward and defenseman in the middle, defending against these guys trying to take one-timers, and a defenseman, preferably your best defenseman, down low. Now one of the dangers to this is as F1 comes out here, and is aggressive against this player, if he moves the puck to either side, the one thing that is open then is that quick pass across for a one-timer underneath F1. The other thing that's open, because there's so much open ice in here, is for this guy on the back side to just kind of step out a little, and then we have that pass from the top of the circle to the weak side on the post and an easy shot on the back side. So one of the things that I like to do is take that standard positioning and compress it a little. Okay? So we bring our middle players inside more. We bring our top guy down a little lower. So this is the way that I want to set up when we begin killing the penalty in our diamond formation. And then from here what we're going to do is the F1 forward will come out and attack hard. Depending on where the puck goes, if he takes the puck and comes to this side, first thing F1 has to do is get back down into the passing lane to block that cross ice pass. F2 steps out with the intent of blocking a one-time shot or keeping this player out here and not letting him get that inside move. D2 comes over here, covers the strong side forward down low, and D1 collapses and covers the weak side forward down low. And then in this position, if he tries to shoot the puck, we have someone to block it. If he tries to pass cross ice, we have someone that can intercept it. And his only choices are to either move the puck back to the quarterback or maybe take the puck and skate it down into the corner, down low, and try to make something happen here. So let's just assume that he takes this puck and he doesn't have a shot, so he moves it back to the quarterback. As that happens, F2 drops back inside. D1 steps up again, and D2 comes back to the middle. Now the quarterback moves the puck quick over to this side, and again we need, we need to adjust, so D1 will step out, again with the intent on blocking the shot. That's your first job. Second job is to keep this player in this area. Don't let him cut inside here. D2 comes across, picks up the strong side wing down low. F2 collapses down to help on the back side. And now again, we have the shot being blocked here. If he tries to go cross ice with the pass, F1 is there. So his only options now are to move the puck back to the point and the quarterback, or take the puck down the wall and try to make a play down low. Now if that happens, Basically what we're going to do is D1 is going to follow him down, try to force him to the outside. D2 and F2 will continue coverage in front of the net. F1 will step down into the high slot. And basically his job is to stop a cross ice pass to this guy. Now this forward here is likely to come down a little bit to try to be part of the play. but Again, if we're in good defensive position, we have that covered. F1's in the middle of the ice to pick up the cross ice passes. And if this forward moves the puck back to the point, it's a long pass. F1 always has the chance to come out and intercept it. Or if it gets there, F1's just going to step out again, pressure. D1's going to come back inside. 
Typically this guy is going to either come down here or come back up on top. This guy will come back into his position. F2 will step up. D2 back into position. And we're right back to where we started in the triangle. Now the same thing holds true if they do get a shot off and we block it. It's probably going to go down into the corner somewhere. So the nearest guy should go for that puck. If D2 goes for that puck, F2 has to come down and make sure that we're covering the front of the net. D1's collapsing to cover the front of the net. And the idea here is we're not skating with the puck. We're just going to rip it up off the glass and down the ice. All right, so just to show you one more time real quick, in the initial setup, we want to try to be set up in a little more compacted area. We'll allow them to have, you know, these passes on the outside here. They want to go around the top. We'll give them that outside shot if we can't get out there fast enough to block it because my hope is that our goaltending will block those long shots. It's these dangerous plays when the puck gets in here and you have a guy loose in the middle of the ice where the goalies have a little more trouble. So when we're up against the umbrella power play, just remember we're going to form up a diamond and we're going to be aggressive on the puck and everyone else has a position to be. Once we're aggressive, you have to pick somebody up down low. 